hey you guys it's miriam welcome and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing my evening routine with a toddler while pregnant so as you can see i'm starting off with a dirty kitchen from dinner and we normally get home around 6 15 6 20 after dropping my oldest off from track practice she does do track three to four days a week and so when I come home, I like to just have, you know, a clean kitchen. Hannah has a lot of toys everywhere. So this is our time to kind of clean and wind down before getting bath started and that kind of thing. So I like to just, again, straighten up a little bit. I start the dishes. I do have an older daughter. Um, and so she normally does the dishes, but I've been trying to help her out a little bit because she gets home so late from practice and then she's, you know, tired. She has homework. She has to shower and that kind of thing. So I like to do a little bit of the dishes. I do most of them and then I'll leave some for her. And so I like to help her out a little bit with the kitchen tasks. Seeing that we do eat dinner at like 4.35, sometimes 5.30, we eat it pretty early because we get off to an early start. Um, I like to, again, just try to help her out and try to conquer the kitchen together. Um, it doesn't take too long, maybe about 15, sometimes 20 minutes, just to get everything loaded in the dishwasher. And while I'm cleaning in the kitchen, I a lot of times tell Hannah, my two and a half year old, hey, let's start cleaning up your books, cleaning up your area and your space to get it clean. So I'll sing the cleanup song, whatever, you know, <laughs> I have to do to try to motivate her to clean because at this point she's kind of tired she's ready to wind down take her bath but i don't like to go to sleep with a dirty house and toys everywhere i've done that many a times and then i wake up and i don't like what i see when i come downstairs so as you can see there are toys everywhere the couch pillows are you know uneven and that kind of thing so i try to again encourage her and then when i'm done i'll help her out with cleaning up the living room space and again she likes that she likes to sing so we sing together i do you know have to remind her multiple times again she is only two and a half but i do again want to instill in her like when we make a mess we clean up so with that said we like to you know clean up the kitchen the living room since our living room and kitchen are connected um after we eat dinner and once we come back from track practice Once we have tag team cleaning the kitchen and cleaning up her play space and area, I like to have some type of healthy treat, um, dessert, if you will. And so this evening we are having like um, parfaits, I guess you would say in a way, um, with some Greek yogurt, strawberries, um, Girl Scout cookies that are the little shortbread, which are my fave, and then a little bit of dark chocolate on top. Lately, I've had kind of like a sweet tooth, which was not me in the beginning of my pregnancy. I just wanted meat and yeah, red meat basically. But lately this last trimester, you guys, what? I just want sweets and fruit and I'm trying to control myself. <laughs> um, so again, I try to do a healthy dessert or snack a few times a week. She enjoys it. We get to bond over sitting down, talking about our day and eating a sweet treat. Let me know, do you eat desserts or have a dessert, something sweet every night on the weekends? Drop it down in the comments. Let me know. I would love to know. Sometimes I'm like, is it just me and my family or does other people have dessert every night or are they just wait on the weekends? You know, I would love to know. So let me know.
And once I'm finished wiping down the countertops, making sure everything is nice and tidy in the kitchen, I then take all of my vitamins. So prenatal vitamins, probiotic, vitamin C, all of those vitamins. Let me know if you want a separate video for that. And then also I give Hannah her vitamin C tablet during that time, as well as fill up my big water bottle because I'm really big on staying hydrated. And at night I typically get really thirsty. So I make sure I have, you know, ice and water for the evening time. And then we head upstairs for my fave bath time. During this time, Hannah likes to, again, pick out her, you know, toys. We get soap and all of the bubbles and all those things in the bath. And then while she, I put her in the bathtub, I like to just pick out her pajamas, pull up, you know, make sure all those things are ready. So when I get her out the bath, then we are ready to transition right into getting dressed. And at this stage, she'll be three in May. And you guys, oh my goodness, she is like Miss Independent. If you have a toddler that is the same age, please let me know if it's just me or my toddler because she, you know, does not want me to really help her anymore. Like she wants to do everything. As you can see in these clips to come, she's like, no, mom, I want to do it. And I'm like, no, but you're my baby. And I need to help you. And she's like, no, I got it. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'd rather her learn how to do it herself. But um, so we kind of go back and forth during this time. But again, this is real. This is what we do at nighttime routine. And then she likes to, again, do her bonnet, put her bonnet on herself. She doesn't want any help <laughs> during this time. So again, this is just Miss Independent during this stage. And I'm grateful because she's progressing. She's growing. Um, but I'm just like, it's going by too fast. So once we are done putting on her pajamas, then we head straight into the bathroom to brush her teeth, which this is like her favorite because she found a toothpaste that she actually enjoys after trial and error with other toothpaste. So again, she really enjoys this strawberry toothpaste that we found and it's been a hit. She actually likes to brush her teeth now and I can help her a little bit. But again, since she's independent, I let her do the first round and then oh, oh, I will kind of guide her but also do it more. with her um just again make sure her teeth are getting clean we do not want any cavities at all okay, also another nice. thing too I would say for moms if you have a little one that does not like to brush their teeth mm -hmm. or it's just a struggle get one that has a like lights or you know different features mm -hmm. on there to make it enjoyable we make it a fun time during you know, brushing her teeth every night. She likes to have the lights off sometimes and see the light. So that's been honestly a big hit and it encourages her to brush her teeth. And once we're finished brushing her teeth, she then likes to run down into her room and put on her Tony's box, the bedtime character to help just kind of set the tone, set the atmosphere for our books and nighttime. She also does get a little sip of water because she's thirsty and I'm encouraging her to stay hydrated as she sees me drink my water throughout the day. So then she picks three to five books. This night I chose three because I was tired. There was not five. Um, and I sit with her on her bed. We start off reading the books. And then from there, it's quiet. I put on the hatch, her sound machine. We dim all the way down. We dim the lights all the way down. We keep the Tony's box on, but make sure it's really low. I don't talk to her, literally. Like, she'll start to say, spark up a conversation or say something. And I'm like, mm, nope, I'm quiet. And I've noticed that helps her, like, understand, okay, mom's serious. Like, we need to go to sleep. It's time to close my eyes. Um, and so again, I've been doing this for the past ooh, six weeks now, and it's been a hit. It does take about 15, 20 minutes after I read all of the books for her to actually go to sleep and for me to sneak out. But this routine and system has really worked for us. And once she falls asleep, which sometimes is around 8.45, sometimes it's 9 o'clock, sometimes it's 9.05, but sometimes it's 8.30, it really just depends. But I try to, again, make sure I'm consistent with the time frame of her getting in the bed at around 8.15, sometimes 8 o'clock. Again, in between that 8 and 9. Um, once I'm finished with that, then I go into my room and I have been really enjoying and benefiting from prenatal stretching. 
So I do this for about maybe five to 10 minutes. Sometimes I'll put on a YouTube um, video, but other times lately I'm just like, I'm gonna do my own thing and stretch. And this has really helped me get a better night's rest, which I've really needed these last few months, especially carrying so much weight and carrying low. So I really try to be as consistent as I can with stretching during the nighttime. Um, again, whether that's me doing my own thing or watching a YouTube video. And then I'll also use sometimes my heating pad on my back because my lower or my upper back, excuse my lower and my upper, but my upper back has been kind of throbbing lately and just hurting. So I um, have a heating pad that I put on while I sit in the bed propped up and that's been helping as well. So I'm trying to do all the different things to really help, you know, jumpstart labor and make it a little easier for my body. Um, during labor and then also before I go into labor. So again, trying to do stretching and walking, um, doing all the things again to kind of help with that. Once I'm finished doing my stretching for the night, I then get in the shower myself, which this is my like time to just wind down my time, me time, mommy time, whatever you want to call it. Um, what I like to do is, and I actually had a clip here, but it was like sped up and it was cinematic thing. So I didn't even put it in, but I like to wash my face, put the cleanser on before I get in the shower. I don't know if you do that. Let me know if you do, but I put the cleanser on before I get in the shower, let it sit for like a few minutes and then I wash it off in the shower. And this is a must for me because I do tend to have acne prone skin, textured skin. And so I want to just make sure I'm doing all the things to help combat that. I know right now my hormones are all over because I'm pregnant and so, Again, just trying to make sure that I stay consistent with my skincare routine um, during this pregnancy. After I put on a moisturizer on my face, I then go in for my belly care routine, if you will, because again, I have had stretch marks in the past and I just want to kind of prevent more from coming. So what I've been doing lately is the coconut oil as well as shea butter, a little bit of olive oil. But this night I was kind of being lazy. I wouldn't lie, you guys. It's just been a long day, long evening. And so I just did coconut oil, but I do like to do again shea butter olive oil, coconut oil, kind of mix all of those together, um, some type of, sh you know, shea butter and just moisturize it in my skin. Cause I notice again, you know, I'm going to bed, my skin is hydrated and you know, 
I want to make sure again I'm preventing stretch marks, more stretch marks from occurring. So once I am done lathering up my belly, I then like to do some type of small little task in my bathroom to just set me up for success later in the week or the next day. And I've been really trying to do better with washing my sponges, my brushes, makeup brushes, just again, because having acne prone skin, I don't want to put bacteria and cause my skin break more breakouts and clog, you know, just clog up my skin. So I've been really taking the time every few days or once a week to use a cleanser and or a cleansing bar to rinse out and clean my brushes. Let me know, is this something you do often? Do you use a sponge to put on your foundation, you know, tinted moisturizers, or do you do a brush? Let me know. Also, if you want to see some beauty kind of content, let your girl know. I don't have a ton of time these days, and I know in the weeks to come, I won't have a lot of time, but I do enjoy looking cute. My motto is when you look good, you feel good, you do good. So I live by that. And so again, I like getting myself made up from time to time. And with that said, we are at the end of this video. So again, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give us a thumbs up, subscribe, let your girl know what other videos you would like to see in the future. But I appreciate you guys being here. I really, really do. I appreciate all the support starting this new channel. And I look forward to seeing what's to come in the future. Again, I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.